Even folks on the left, fair-minded people, even you know the editors of the Atlantic, put on the, their cover a piece pointing out that ISIS is an Islamic-based religious insurgency. ISIS is an Islamic-based religious insurgency. And it is just perverse that the President of the United States and everyone down in his administration can't admit that. Just as a matter of intellectual hygiene, let's call them what they are. They want to establish a ca caliphate. They want to establish medieval religious law. This is a religious movement emanating from Islam. This is a religious movement emanating from Islam. That is just basic. We're learning ISIS militants kidnapped at least 90 people from predominantly Christian villages inside Syria. Activists on the ground are reporting the terror group struck a string of towns in northern Syria on Monday, and the militants reportedly bragged over walkie-talkies they had captured, quote, crusaders. CNN's Becky Anderson live in Abu Dhabi with more on this. Hi, Becky. Yeah, hello, good morning. This is what we know at this point. ISIS militants abducting, as you rightly point out, at least 90 Assyrian Christians from two villages in northeastern Syria. Now, this information coming from a variety of organizations, not least the London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, who said that, and I quote, reliable sources overheard ISIS militants talking on wireless devices about having detained some 56, as they described them, crusaders in one village alone. You'll be aware that ISIS or Daesh has attacked numerous minority groups like the Assyrians during what is this bloody campaign to create what they call a, a vast caliphate across Syria and Iraq under what is ex extreme version of Sharia law. And to give you some context for this, uh, just this summer, ISIS overran the city of Karakosh, which is an historic Assyrian town of some 50,000 people in northern Iraq, about 20 miles southeast of Mosul. And at the time, ISIS issuing an ultimatum to Christians living there, convert to Islam, pay a fine, or face death by the sword. Carol, that's the latest. All right, uh, Becky Anderson reporting from Abu Dhabi this morning. Christians are now ISIS prisoners this morning. Islamic State militants reportedly abducting scores of Assyrian Christians this time. Many of them are women and children after ISIS militants overran several villages in northeast Syria now. John Huddy, live in our Mideast Bureau. So, John, how many people have been taken? What do we know about this? Well, Martha, at this point, we're hearing anywhere from 70 to 100 Assyrian Christians, as you mentioned, have been abducted by ISIS. And all of this started before dawn on Monday when ISIS militants, when the terror group raided uh, numerous villages along what's called the Kabur River, uh, which is in, as mentioned, northeastern Syria. If you look at a map, this river hooks up with the Euphrates. Uh, it's an area largely, at this point, controlled by ISIS, and it's also where there's been heavy fighting over the past couple days, including uh, coalition airstrikes, Martha. Oh, these pictures are incredible. Did anyone manage to get away? Well, we're hearing uh, possibly 3,000 people. That's the good news, if you can say there's any good news in this. But the problem is that communication lines to these villages have been cut. So it's been very difficult getting any information about those who have been taken hostage. As one woman, Martha, told the Associated Press, she doesn't know if her loved ones are alive or if, like so many others, they've been slaughtered. Martha. Oh, these people are just living in an untenable situation. John, thank you very much.